Patrick Tanner at ptlouts.com. Just finishing off something that I started. I was promising to show the whole process of making this painting. I showed the beginning, making the shapes, getting the composition, and I've been working on it on and off because I've got some other work coming. Um, so wasn't able to like do a congruent um, there's somebody doing scaffolding in the background it's just like uh, really inconvenient there's not much I can do about it so this is like the finished article I'll show you the photograph that I was working from um, there we have it uh, I hope you can see that Yes, yeah, so this picture isn't the whole image. I sort of, as I worked on the painting, I've cropped it down to this size. It, the original picture's got more in it. You know, it's a, it's, a, it's a bigger expanse. I'm not really sure where my grandparents, Frank and Elsie, not quite sure where they are, but I did work out, as you can see here, there's some kind of buildings and stuff behind this greenery um, and then if you look closer in the image I had to work with this quite blurred in, in reality so um, let's have another look and see it's quite blurred when you get close up so I've kind of had to use my intuition like um, my grandfather looked very much like my dad and brothers and sisters and stuff so there's various like so i've had a really basic yeah not loads of detail in the picture but it's and it's black and white so to go back to the painting here we have it and i can zoom in zoom in here so you can see more of it um, it's actually clearer than it looks well on my screen anyway but hopefully you can see how I've um, interpreted it I've kind of guessed on colors um, and I also like use the colors so that they can be congruent throughout the whole image um, like the blues here aren't in the original painting obviously it's black and white but also like I think it was probably um, a grey day and I th don't think there was much blue around but I used the blue to resonate with Elsie's um, dress that's underneath her coat and I also chose to give my grandfather probably would have had wouldn't have had a blue tie I kind of doubt it in 1930s and stuff, but I've done it for the kind of, so there's a sort of bluish gray tint to his suit as well. So they all the colors kind of resonate, but the main thing is to, I connected with what, like I say, I don't know much about my grandparents, um, apart from they're in my makeup, somewhere so um I have a real connection with them it's great because i uh, else I, I didn't know her name before this painting and i feel like i've really connected on a deep level so that's what i'm trying to communicate really is that as an artist that's what i try to do is connect with the subject more than recreate a spot for spot realistic um, representation of the photograph. I'm looking for the people inside uh, the the image. So if I do one for you, for example, I would talk to you. I would find out as much as I could about the um, this relationship. But I don't need to know like historically that much. It's more like about the character. It's the and then I can connect through a photograph with those people and recreate portrait or portraits or double portraits or anything, pets. It doesn't really even places, even buildings. 
it's about your relationship with them it's about them and their relationship with you that's what I connect with and that's what transmits if you like channels however you want to look at it onto the canvas this took me like quite a long time because I was doing it intermittently also it's not for sale it's a personal like um, challenge I didn't think I could do it when I started so there you have it a little bit of inside information to my grandparents painting my grandparents and what I can make out of a black and white photograph so very much indeed please subscribe to the YouTube channel and have a look at my website and contact me directly if you're interested in having any work done I'd love to do some work for you. Thanks very much.